What is up guys, this is the FNH tutorial here and today I'm going to be showing you how you guys can speed up your Firefox performance. Okay, so you guys probably noticed that after using Firefox for a while, um, it starts to slow down, things start to take longer to load. Um, the browser itself um, takes longer to load, right, images and websites. So yeah, that usually happens to all browsers. Um, so yeah, you can, if you guys are having trouble with Chrome I also have a video on that make sure to check that out but for Firefox um, there's basically 10 simple steps that you can do that will help it um, these are the steps that I did and it really increased the performance of my browser okay so the first one is you would you want to go to about right and then colon and then type in config All right, and you will see this, um, I guess, warning message saying this might wo uh, void your warranty, right? Um, just accept it. That's fine. Um, all right, so now we're here. You're seeing a bunch of these things, um, and it's really simple. I'm going to show you step by step what to do, so you guys don't really need to um, worry about what this is. Okay. So, and, and not only that, if anything messes up, you can always set it to the default settings, right? So there's really no worry. Your computer will not get messed up. And um, if anything, if the for some reason the default setting options doesn't work either, you can always uninstall and reinstall, okay? So yeah, all right, since now we're here about config, what you want to do is go search in browser dot and then I believe it was tabs dot remote and auto start. So right here. So over here you can see the value is true. We want to turn this value to false. And the way you do it is you can just double click it. Okay. Or you can right click and press toggle. Okay. So basically this is just um, for the tabs. If you have multiple tabs open right and then <clears throat> and then the I guess when the browser you uh, go back to the browser it would auto start all the tabs okay and you don't want that obviously it's gonna slow it down like crazy cuz I always have a lot of tabs open okay so yeah that's one thing you want to do and then the next thing you can do is go to you want to increase or decrease the process limits okay the, um, so the way we can do that is we want to go to the Firefox settings okay I'll just keep that tab open right uh, we want to go to the settings so the settings right here okay and in the settings we want to scroll down to performance headings all right uh, where is that general okay we go to general and then all right we're here now we're at performance headings uh, the performance heading and we want to uncheck recommended okay and keep use hardware acceleration when available checked okay and content process limit we want to change that to seven uh eight okay um so basically what this is is um it increase the process you can see over here additional content process can improve performance when using multiple tabs but we use more memory so if you have a lot of memory around like like say 16 gigs or 32 gigs and you don't use it, you're, you're not using all of it, um, you would want to use it for Firefox to um, basically load your page faster because that memory is not even being used anyways, right? So you can just do that. Uh, 4 is default, right? Um, so when you do 4, it uses 4 and then um, that's as much you'll use. So when you do this, this would definitely use a lot more, right? Um, and it definitely will help. Okay, so that's the second one. The third thing is we want to uh, disable data collection and telemetry. Telemetry, okay. And so that I believe is in the settings also, right? Um, you guys can go to, uh, I believe, privacy over here, right? And then blocking choose what to block uh, you want to do block that right um, send websites that do not track always you want to do that okay and then um, these are just these are fine right 
So now this is the part, the data collection that Firefox uses. Okay, so we want to uncheck this, right? So the reason we want to uncheck this, obviously security reasons, that's one thing because we don't know, um, well, you guys can probably read what information they get from you to um, send the technical, what technical information about your machine they send to the company back to, um, I guess, um, work with. But um, we, I always uncheck it. I don't like my information being sent back to the company for whatever reason, right? Uh, unless I specifically state it. Um, so yeah, I uncheck that, and also that takes. Um, <clears throat> uh, you don't know how often they take the um, information, right? Uh, the send technical. You don't know how how often they're sending it. So obviously, um, let's say if you're doing some critical information, critical work on your um, browser and there's a lot of resources being used and the last thing you want to do is add more to those resources by sending some technical information that you don't really need to send in the first place okay so yeah I'll keep that disabled that's not really necessary alright and then the next one we want to go is to we want to go to the settings right and right here uh, uh, and I uh, believe this is privacy also right and then we want to search for prevent accessibility services from accessing your browser okay so I don't know if this is um, over here okay yeah right here prevent access accessibility services from accessing your browser okay for this you're gonna restart it I, I'm not gonna restart it but make sure you have that checked right um it's you can learn more about it um so accessibility service is basically the service you i believe when you click this stuff right here right so when you start it obviously all this has to be loaded also so that you don't need right um so yeah you can just basically um uncheck that that's one way and another way you can do that is if you go um about preferences right right if you go over here about preferences which is um, basically the settings right and yeah it's basically the same thing um, you should see a uh, prevent accessibility yeah um, so yeah you want to um, make sure that's checked okay and um, I guess the next thing is we want to run Firefox in roll res resolution mode. So this option is only available on Macs, right? Uh, I am using a Windows, so I wouldn't be able to show it to you. But if you are using a Mac, make sure you um, run Firefox in roll low resolution mode, okay? Because um, there's really no point of having it in high resolution. You'd rather have the speed over the, I guess, the, the sharpness, the resolution of the browser, okay? All right, the next thing is we want to toggle. Um, so I, I believe we did the hardware acceleration um, on performance, right? And then um, we did that. Now we want to free up some memory, okay? So we go to about and we'll search memory. All right, you can see this weird looking page over here. And over here, we want to just basically free up some memory, okay? So we want to do a garbage collection, global garbage collection, and then do a cycle collection. And then we're going to do uh, minimize memory usage. Okay. So basically what this is doing is it's um, whatever memory you have occupied by Firefox data or cached information um, is going to clean it right so you'll have a lot more space on your computer depending on how long you've been using Firefox and how much information is saved on the browser right and minimize memory usage is, is basically you can hover over and see more details what it's saying right um, so it, it's just going to basically do a garbage collection more often right so um, it will reduce the memory usage okay Okay, so that's the memory option, um, and then save garbage. That's basically just the logs. Okay, um, so yeah, you don't need to click that. Um, all right, and then the last, I, I believe another thing is um, 
back in the config okay accept again and you want to go type in animate oops I spelled it wrong all right so now when we are animate right in the t uh, like all the entries that show up here we basically want to turn um, the ones that are true we want to make sure they're false okay so like this is true make sure that's false turn that to false and then turn that to false okay so we don't want any animations to display on our browser because animations is one thing that does use a lot of resources right especially in newer browsers and different software animation is one thing that um, causes a lot of lags and delays on software so we just want to turn that off okay all right, and last thing, um, if none of these options work, or if they do work, but you want to add it on top of those, we want to go to about support, right? And we want to just do refresh Firefox, okay? So basically, refresh Firefox is kind of similar to a reinstallation of your browser, right? Um, it's just going to, um, it, whatever add-ons or customizations you have, it will remove it. It'll restore the browser to the default settings. So if you're going to do all the settings beforehand, make sure you run this first and then you run, then you make the changes. Okay. So yeah, so that's all I have for today. Um, if you do all these options, your browser will definitely get a lot faster than what it was, right? Um, there's no doubt about that. If you guys are using Fire, if you if you're using Chrome, make sure to check out the video. I show a similar step on Chrome, how to make that faster, right? Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the com comment section below. Um, if you like the video, make sure to like it, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.